I would like to thank Reb Ranger for this denim jacket, which I don't think he knows he left it in my place. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I'm going to show you how I transformed this into this. The entire process of turning it into what it is now took an extremely long time. It's gone through so many changes and I've moved stuff around. It was only yesterday when I realized I was 100% happy and satisfied with the way it looked. So I had this custom table built into my wall. You see this curved wall? There was nothing there before. It was just a wall with black and pink striped paint. I don't know, I was having this weird rockabilly phase where I wanted everything to be black and pink. Yeah. So fast forward several years later, I had all my walls painted white, all my furniture was white, and everything was very neutral. But before I could, you know, dive in and decorate my space, my bedroom... Okay, a little backstory. Pre-pandemic, I was... was? Is? Still am? I don't know. I was a theater actress. So, you know, I would always be out for rehearsals. And working from home was something I would never do. And then COVID-19 happened, and yeah. Here we are. Before, aesthetic desk setups were a thing and working from home was the new normal. In my desk right now, it was just like a storage space. Actually, I just looked it, I was really good. And then not long after I had this table built, I moved out of the house for like a year and a half. I moved to a condo that was very near the rehearsal venue for Ang Huling El Bimbo. You know, I forgot I had this space. Every time I would come home during the weekends, I would just end up piling things up on the table and, you know, forgetting about them. Anyway, now that you've seen what it looked like before, let's move on with our tour and transformation. This is a Samsung 24-inch LED monitor in 1080p. As always, I'll be putting the links down below in case you fancy anything. I know, I know, for content creation, I should have just invested in a 4K monitor. But for what I'm doing and what I need at the moment, 1080p is fine. If I'm being honest, what really drove and inspired me to make a decent desk setup was when Reb bought his external monitor. I thought I was fine with, you know, just my MacBook, then I saw his setup. So I started looking into desk setups, binge watching desk setup videos, stalking these Instagram accounts, and several Gcash transactions later, here I am. I also got this tabletop shelf. It has my pens, my journals, this living and breathing Janet Craig on booby pot, <laughs> which for this video I will just turn away and have it face the wall. A Gudetama plushie I got from Japan. This digital clock from Shopee because it still takes me a second to tell analog time, okay? Just keeping it real. My Umaru-chan Nendoroid. Some washi tapes which I use more often than others. And this candle which I got from Frankie General Store. I got this plastic vase and eucalyptus from the home section at SM Department Store. I mean, yeah, you can get this a lot cheaper from Shopee, but it was already right there. It was in front of me, so... Full disclosure, this took me two hours. <laughs> two freaking hours to assemble. And this is the part where I realized I had the armrests on backwards. I decided to get an extra table for packing orders because I always do it on the floor. 
And this is also where I leave my Alibaba figures to dry so they're not in the way of anything on my main table. The pink chair and foldable table are both from Offix. Licks, licks, links down below, yo. And here are my Muji acrylic drawers. I keep some more pens and stamps and stickers and basically anything I can fit in there that I use often, I put in there. And I'd like y'all to meet! Oh my god, wait, I don't have a name for him yet. <laughs> this is my Monstera Adansoni. Adansoni, I, Ad Adansoni, I'm, I don't know. I got him from Spruce and he's one of the healthiest looking plants I own. That's why he deserves a spot on my table. And I really love him and he's growing really well. See, there's like a, a there, there are two new leaves sprouting. So if you guys can think of a name for this guy, please let me know in the comment section. <laughs> okay, let's now move on to the star of my desk setup. Since I don't have a PC yet, I just have this external monitor to be able to, well, monitor everything better. But really, I edit on my Mac, I stream on my Mac, I do website stuff, I um, track my inventory, everything. I do it on my Mac and MVP talaga siya. Although I have to say, streaming on a Mac can be quite problematic, especially if you have many Elgato and streaming equipment connected to it. But ask Reb, he usually encounters a lot of problems with streaming on a Mac. We got the 16-inch MacBook, MacBook. So we got the 16-inch MacBook Pro. MacBook. Oh my God, hindi ako natatapos. So we got the 16-inch MacBook Pro, which we unboxed in another video over at Rebex Tanya. Apart from the streaming issues, it's been a darling and I love it. It's the best laptop I've owned so far. I also have my 10.5 iPad Pro where I do all of my illustrations and sometimes I also stream on Kumu there. So after letting go of my beloved, clicky Logitech G Pro X keyboard, Reb was very sweet enough to gift me with this Ducky One 2SF keyboard and uh, pastel keycaps. It was my first time replacing keycaps and oh my gosh, it was so therapeutic. I also got this Logitech Pebble mouse. It's wireless and I use it for everything except editing. For editing, I use the Logitech G604. It has all these programmable keys and it's just the best. Here's the Razer Kraken BT Kitty Edition and the Fantech headstand which I reviewed in my last video. It goes really well with my setup and I'm super duper happy with the way it turned out. Here are the Fantech speakers I mentioned in the last video. As you can see, it does look really cute on the desk. I love the lights and all and you know, that's primarily why I bought it to be honest. But it's really cheap, it's really affordable. To be fair, for the price that you pay, it's not bad. It has okay sound quality. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. And here are my stream essentials. My Scarlett Solo audio interface and Elgato HD60S Plus capture card. These were sold out practically everywhere during the height of the lockdown and it was so hard to get them. And if you, do, if you did find them, they were double the price. It was insane. I use an Audio-Technica 2100X USB slash XLR microphone. Apart from having great sound quality, you can use it either as a USB mic or as an XLR mic. I totally forgot to mention this part, but for content creation, I use a Canon G7X Mark III and my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I also use a Rode Video Mic Go. Cable management. Okay. My table is cemented against my wall, so there's no space behind the desk. So everything I have practically is sitting on top of the table. The only way I can hide things is putting them in boxes or containers. But it's not an eyesore, so I'm really happy with it and 
I think it, that should do for now. Under the desk, I have my wedding planning things, more storage, my silhouette cameo cutting machine. I got these RGB fairy lights from Lazada. I thought I could use them for my Kumu streams. And then I realized it was so Christmassy. <laughs> So instead of buying LED strip lights, I just used them under my desk and did this. I'm not gonna go much into detail about the other things, you know, things off the table. I'll probably save that for another video, another bedroom tour, maybe. Here's how the rest of my studio is looking at the moment. So that's pretty much it and it took me five months to get all of this together. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I also hope that this inspires you to create a space that you love, a space where you'll be most productive in, a space where you won't hate working, where you'll look forward to creating things every day living your best life, being your best self. Whether it's working from home or online classes, making art, journaling, content creation, the list goes on. I mean, it's March, y'all. Did I just say y'all? And it's still pretty unclear where we're headed. So instead of just waiting around for the world we once knew to come back, let's just be present, live in the moment, live our best life. Invest in the things, whether they be big or small, Invest in the things that make you happy, that make you a better person, make you more productive, and make your life beautiful. Of course, stay safe, wash your hands, keep a safe distance, don't ever lose hope. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for making it till the end. This is Tanya, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!